Trigger warning. If you're a human and respect other humans, you're about to get mad. I mean, seriously mad. Men are the f***ing prize, okay? Listen, you dumb feminist hu- Men are the f***ing prize! to just go from all that nice to just f***ing her like she's like, But not in a good way like she's nothing. In a bad way like she's nothing. <laughs> the real G's know what I'm you saying here. Slow. There's a difference. The World Health Organization says one in three women worldwide have been subjected to physical or sexual violence. Yes. Fear equals respect equals love. Yes. Fear equals respect equals love. Yes. Around the world, six women are killed every hour by men. When they are scared of losing you, that's when you get the blow jobs, that's when you get your sucked, that's when they respect you. You guys weren't really even able to enter the workforce until we gave you guys tampons. No, we're equal, blah, blah, blah. We're not equal. We're not blank slate equals at all. Like, yo, if y'all wanna play get rules, we get more girls than y'all girls and y'all free. Like, if y'all really, really want to free, this bitch is married prior to a fucking beluga whale somewhere. <laughs> Okay, I know this sounds fucking horrible, but before you pop a blood vessel, I promise you this story has a very happy ending, with these two clowns ending in the fetal position. So hold on, we're almost there. If a man wants sex, that's one of the few things that men ask for. You know what I'm saying? And if you guys don't deliver on that, you're, you're useless, I'll just be honest. I don't understand, the way you talk about the way guys think of women is like horrible. Like, are we just like people for you guys to use? Like a little accessory and then you're done? Okay. Your presence alone, no one gives a f about your presence. They want to get laid. So if you take women by themselves with no men, the men are gonna come in, they're gonna invade, and they're gonna either kill you off, turn you into slaves, turn you into slaves, turn you into slaves. I need John to stop being scared to talk to bitches. How many of you here have experienced what you consider to be sexual harassment? So yeah, that was f***ing awful, but it was important for me to show you this so that you can understand what we're talking about here. Because that was just two minutes of them being absolute pigs, but they have hundreds of hours of footage of them shitting on women and calling it just being honest. But let's take a look at that so-called honesty, because they love talking about how superior they are. We are physically superior to women. Having three women in one day. Now, it sounds crazy, right? Crazy, right? We are physically superior to women. We are physically superior to women. Sure, real superior, maybe to a fucking pumpkin. Anyways, enough of these two losers trying to be alphas. Let's take a look at how two women made them cry like little boys. You see, in this story, the so-called prince actually becomes a toad. And this time, when he goes in for the kiss, he gets... So this lady right here is Miranda, you know, a nice, innocent looking girl. But she should really be called Katrina because she seriously f***ed up Walter's world. And to make matters worse, she made Myron's testes jump straight back inside him when she started to affect their business. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go behind the scenes, get the legal people to do it for us, and then they're gonna hit you guys where it really hurts your pockets. It didn't work, man! I'm still alive, motherfucker! So Pinky and Stinky over here have to go on Sugar Baby websites to get laid, and when they strike out even there, they go full Harvey Weinstein and tell women that they have to f*** them if they want to collaborate with them or come on the podcast. But hey, they also have videos on finance and training, so I'm really just a hater focusing on minor things, right? Anyways, they absolutely hate it when you make fun of them or critique them. Make videos on us, there's consequences to it. So if you truly want to get back at these two pigs for everything they said, then I seriously recommend you like, comment and share this video like crazy to push it out to as many people as possible because they will absolutely hate that. Basically, uh, we have a lot of people that talk about us on the internet and some of it is slander, some of it is defamation and using our content in their videos and we're like, okay, cool. We've waited out for a while for you to stop. You're still doing it. So, oh, you know what? Cool. Now we're going to take legal action against you. <laughs> Wow, a real tough guy over here. So explain to me exactly how it was copyright infringement when people used parts of your freely available content to critique you and thus create something completely different than your original work. Simply put, if someone breaks into your store, right, and use it, takes a broom off, you have a hardware store, takes a broom off the shelf and starts beating you with your own broom and won't leave and does it for four months, well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> what? What the fuck is he talking about? Let me, let me what go. happened is that you have a store that you sell brooms and we told you that that broom is garbage. Starts so beating you with your own broom. <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Since this video came out, I've watched it over six times and it gets funnier every single time. So check out the full version. So clearly Pinky and Stinky don't know what copyright infringement is and they try to abuse the system by making hundreds of false copyright claims to dozens of creators on YouTube. 
Well, you can't file a DMCA over it. Uh, apparently not. You can't. Yeah. So what, they just get it reversed or what? Yeah, it's 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 a long story, but. It's not a long story. story. It's not a long story. <laughs> YouTube was like, yo, what the fuck is this? Now this backfired in a spectacular fashion. Not only were they going after major channels that have the power to easily defend themselves, one of these channels was an actual attorney. That I put up their content from minute two to minute 45. All of you who know me in the chat know that's a goddamn lie. I mean, just how dumb do you have to be to hit a real attorney with fake bullshit copyright claims? Now, before we get into this hilarious situation of how Pinky and Stinky shot themselves in the foot and are now risking losing millions of dollars, let's first focus on just Stinky. Because Stinky here is a self-proclaimed alpha male and a master in finessing women. Y'all don't know, but I'm like a sniper, man. Like, you don't see me coming. I just like, pew, just got it like that, like, man. Pew, 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 just got it like that, like, man. Yep, he's truly God's gift to women, all right? Now he's officially called Walter, but he goes by the name of Fresh Prince CEO. You heard it right. Not only does he call himself a prince, but he also felt the need to put CEO in his name and on his t-shirt and on his chain. You know, just like all the big Wall Street companies do, right? Now I will give Pinky and Stinky this, that the women in Miami are indeed known to be more materialistic and promiscuous. However, these two clowns took it to a whole new level. You need to punish bad behavior for women. Mm -hmm. It's a forgotten art to hold women accountable for their poor decisions. So as you can see, not exactly Henry Cavill levels of charm here. We had it scheduled for four days, but for ended four. up shooting for four weeks. God damn, man. Don't get me wrong. I'm a straight guy, but that jawline plus the hair, just absolutely gorgeous. So back to the so-called high value man of YouTube. Yes, that's truly how they see themselves. Where guys of high value can actually like set up certain things that regular guys can't. So me buying this watch, this chain, the clothes, it's more like, you know what? If I go into a room with somebody that I want to network with and we look similar, they're like, you know what? He's somebody. Let me see what he has to say. That's the truth. Versus if I'm like, just him wearing some regular clothes, whatever, it's like, oh, he's nobody. Just him wearing some regular clothes, whatever, it's like, oh, he's nobody. I mean, Jesus Christ, the level to this man's stupidity knows no bounds, man. But we're getting off track here because this story is not just about how stupid Walter is, it's about how he got played by Miranda and how this kicked off an avalanche of mockery by his own fans. You see, Miranda was a bit of a walking contradiction since on the one hand, she looks very down to earth and not into the flashy fake lifestyle. But on the other hand, she was on a sugar baby website and posting to her TikTok that she was into dating guys for their money and getting cash app by them. So all this information and much more was known to this guy, DJ Academics, and he's actually a good friend of Pinky and Stinky. And he was about to give Stinky a serious reality check. Uh, Fresh, I love you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> but but, but I, I feel like you're either you're walking into the path of becoming um, what I would say is a hypocrite, or you're just strictly delusional. And I've seen y'all silence a lot of women here mm -hmm. by saying, you're just the exception. We're talking about the rule. You are willing to basically say, hey, f the rule, she's the exception. So obviously Stinky did not like this and he felt exposed, which led to him dropping one of the best lines in Pinky and Stinky's history. See, ah, you see what your problem is? You think that because I have clout, everyone wants me for clout. However, for you, that's that's true. For me, it's not. I actually have game, bro, right? That being said, hold on. I actually have game, bro, right? I actually have game, bro, right? Pure dude, just look at Academic's face. He's not even mad about this comment. He's just very disappointed in his friend because he's clearly delusional. So naturally, this disaster of a live stream got picked up by dozens of commentary channels and they all started making fun of little Walter here. Now this is where things got interesting because this disaster kicked off a massive uprising amongst their own followers. It was fucking hilarious to see all the anger that they normally reserve for what they call simps, beat em mills and women was now targeted at Walter himself and it started affecting their brand. So this is how Miranda single-handedly started f***ing up the pinky and stinky empire. But wait, this is not how the story ends, it actually gets much worse. Because a second woman steps up to the plate and she really starts f***ing their shit up. Because after Myron drops his little temper tantrum on how they were going to pursue legal action to take down other YouTube channels, they contacted a firm that, from what I can tell, is very good at international things. Now it's nice that your law firm does business all over the planet, but maybe you want them to focus just on the US. Or if it's not too inconvenient for them, focus on just their own paralegal, because that girl went rogue with a capital R. Now I'm no expert on working in a law firm, 
But according to the attorney we mentioned earlier, paralegals going rogue is apparently a thing. Every attorney who has practiced 10 years has had a, has had a paralegal go rogue. So while Myron thinks that he's Mr. Big Dick, slapping it in everyone's faces and copyright striking more channels than a Disney lawyer on cocaine, what's actually happening is that a massive commentary channel named Abba and Preach is receiving multiple reports of YouTubers getting bullshit copyright strikes on their channels and like a real life Clark Kent, Abba wastes no time getting in front of the camera to send out this message. If you abuse the system and YouTube finds out, you can get your channel terminated. And I would caution the folks over at Fresh and Fit to rethink this strategy because I'm telling you, it will get your channel removed. And if YouTube now starts to pay attention to the Red Pill community a lot more, there's a lot of people who are going to get removed. So here, Abba stands up for small creators, which is amazing, and he clearly warns Fresh and Fit to not abuse the copyright system because this can seriously backfire. And you know what they do? Fresh and Fit decided to hit us with dozens of copyright claims. Yep, stupidity always doubles down. So these morons actually fired 20 individual copyright strikes at Abba and Preach, containing so many mistakes and falsehoods that it's just impossible to take seriously. Now the problem with doing shit like this to a big YouTuber is that they actually have a YouTube representative, which means that they have direct access to people behind YouTube to quickly look into issues and see if something's wrong. So YouTube started taking a closer look at the false copyright claims and within one day responded back to Fresh and Fit saying that they suspect fraudulent use of the copyright system and that they could have their channel deleted in seven days if they did not show sufficient proof that supported their claims. Which meant that at this point, Pinky and Stinky believe that some high paying attorney was talking to YouTube and is taking down all the exposed videos, but in reality, the lawyer's paralegal is actually playing Russian roulette with their entire channel by arguing with the YouTube team that all the evidence is right there. If, if Fresh and Fit builds their whole platform, a company worth millions of dollars on talking about women, and then the cause of their entire channel being taken down is one 22-year-old black woman. <laughs> now the irony to this whole situation is just so beautiful, I can't stop smiling because you have two wannabe alpha males that were basically living a lie and created a whole business that revolved around shitting on women, which was then completely f***ed over by women that they claim to dominate. Men lead, women follow. It doesn't work the other way around, whether they want to say it or not. I want you guys to always be in the position of dominance when you deal with women. <laughs> I mean, you just can't make this shit up. Now, initially, it was unclear if they were going to retract everything or keep fighting, but when they went on the Tim Pool podcast, they were confronted with their bullshit. And this led to a truly wonderful piece of content. Why these clowns tried to take down Abba and Preach with fake DMCA strikes. Uh, it, it's, it's a... So English, mother do you speak? Uh, it, it's, it's, a, so, it's very difficult for women to be uh, logically sound and make decisions. Yeah. yeah. So what, they just get it reversed or what? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a long story, but... It's not a long story. story! It's not a long story! <laughs> YouTube was like, yo, what the fuck is this? So in the end, all that Pinky and Stinky have managed to do is to guarantee that they cannot abuse the copyright system anymore and are quite possibly under severe scrutiny from YouTube. These clowns should really be the last people on earth to advise men how to win at life. I never had a serious girlfriend. I never, never had, had a serious, serious girlfriend. Since they are no better than the Ace family telling you how to parent or do your finances. Real Game is putting on a $10 t-shirt with no chain, no brands, and just walking up to a nice self-respecting girl and closing the deal. Picking up a girl from a 50 cent video by flexing your money is the exact opposite of game. Dating shouldn't be about playing mind games or tricking hundreds of people into sleeping with you. Just start enjoying each other's company. And if it works out, great. If not, just move on and find someone else. Don't get jaded for life just because one person broke your heart. Spouting this toxic bullshit all across social media is fucking terrible for everybody and it ruins dating for generations to come. Not only that, but it actually contributes to violence against women and sexual harassment. And this is something that more men should speak up about. We should also be teaching the next generation of men to respect women and be aware of their experiences. You guys have lived in Miami so long and you've been faking your lifestyles for so long that you think everybody is chasing clout, that everybody wants to be with an Instagram baddie. Your whole platform is based around clout chasers. So that's why your mind is warped. It's not like that everywhere around the world. Not everyone is about clout. I don't see these as women's issues that some good men help out with. In fact, I'm gonna argue that these are men's issues. You might think you know me, 
Je t'aime.